Hey folks, Joseph e. Sabora here. Guess what? Yesterday was my birthday, May 2nd, 2018. I had a wonderful time, you know, with my family. I actually went out to eat at Sizzler, you know, because I always love the food over there. <laughs> like the steak and the french fries and all you can eat, salad bar or any other. <laughs> Got some wonderful gifts that I got for my birthday. And not only that, but I actually went to go see the movie Avengers Infinity War. Yep, and this is the t-shirt that I picked up. And it looks very nice. Awesome, too. See all the characters uh, on the A logo of the Avengers. But there's one thing missing. The Hulk. That should have been included. And also got a haircut as well. So looking nice and fresh. So I'm gonna review the film later. Maybe when the, the hype dies down a bit. Since I just want to go see the film in theaters. I just thought maybe it'd be best to, to wait maybe a few days or so, so that way things will be settled here. But, so I know, I'm just giving you some hope on that one. But right now, I decided to review a Charlie Brown special. And why not? Because actually, I'm going to be reviewing a birthday special that came out on August 5th, 1997, called, It Was My Best Birthday Ever, Charlie Brown. And this actually centers around Linus Van Pelt because he's about to have his upcoming birthday. I mean, that is until he suddenly meets uh, a young girl with a lovely, beautiful singing voice named Mimi. And his plan was to actually invite her to his birthday party with all of his friends, with all of his friends, including Charlie Brown. That's right. It's going to be one awesome party that Linus is going to put up. Especially when he's rolling on his roller skates. <laughs> well, in, in that sort of way. Yeah, unfortunately, this was a VHS exclusive that was not released on TV. It didn't air whatsoever on every network like CBS or even NBC for that matter. Um, and... Unfortunately, it didn't have an official DVD release as of this date. I mean, now that Warner Brothers had the rights to all the Peanuts specials, I think it's a shame because I really wish they had released this, along with all the other ones that they still haven't. Because I think it's a criminally overlooked special. It's very rare and it's probably one of the rarest specials we ever had where it involves uh, someone else's birthday, including Linus. So that's always the case here. And so anyway, and I, I always thought it was fun the way they did it. Um, they actually used some traditional animation by going for uh, digital, by using digital ink and paint. So it looks a lot different than the usual traditional animation that Charles M. Schultz has done at the time. So you can tell how different the details had looked. So it's kind of amazing for for a special to come out in the late 90s to go for some several changes here. But it's a shame though because there could have been more at the time. And yeah, even though Schultz himself was ready to retire as a creator, even for its uh, 50th anniversary at the time in 1999, because he was getting ready to produce his one last special and that was going to be you guessed it. It's Peter Piper, Charlie Brown. And that got the first DVD release, which is also on VHS as well. And, and it only came out in 2000, just after his death. And that's a shame. But he'll always be remembered, though, nevertheless. So. But anyway, let's get to the review. Stars Stephen Hartman as Charlie Brown. Anthony Birch as Linus Van Pelt, 
Jamie Cronid as Lucy Van Pelt along with Mimi, Danielle Keaton as Sally Brown, Brandon Taylor as Pickpin, Megan Elias as the birthday girl, which happens to be the party that they went to before them, before his, <laughs> and Bill Melendez as Snoopy and Woodstock. They also featured characters like Patty, Shermie, Franklin, Frida, and even Marcy. I don't know if Pepper and Patty had arrived, but unfortunately, I don't think I've seen her on the special, which is a shame. But they're all silent, either way. And, by the way, the, the song that Mimi was singing was called uh, O Mio Babino Caro, which is sung by Giacomo Puccini. Yeah, it's a French song, but it's very wonderful. In fact, interestingly enough, it was actually previously used in the, the special She's a Good Skate, Charlie Brown. Yes, I know I've mentioned that before. So I've got, I thought it really worked very well the way they did it, too. Not to mention they actually had um, the score by David Bonat, which had uh, some interesting, um, going for the 90s type of feel. I mean, they were going for that particular pop tune, you know, during the, the roller skating scenes of, of that Linus was doing. Yeah, I'm going to mention it. In there, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna give it away so much. Well, anyway, it's created and written by Charles M. Schultz and it's directed by Bill Melendez. The special begins when we meet Linus Van Pelt just rolling around on his roller skates around town, you know, doing all these uh, awesome moves, and you begin to hear some. So it has that really awesome, cool beat to go with the the flow of, well. <laughs> He's actually skating around. Of course, he wants up on the skating ramp. Yeah, while well, Snoopy suddenly joins for the ride. But he fails to, to do so at the last run. Yeah. Anyway, Linus was just about to go to a birthday party where they're celebrating the, the birthday girl. As it seems, I mean, it doesn't tell you the name of the birthday girl, but here we go. Sally was invited. But, of course, not Charlie Brown, but that's okay. And they just had a wonderful time. And so on and so forth. Uh, when Sally came back, um, he began to find... Charlie Brown begins to find out that Sally didn't really bring a present to the birthday girl. He just hangs around, just had some cake, and just have fun. Just having a party. <laughs> anyway, as for Linus... Um, he was on a way back home on his roller skates until suddenly he passes a garden and begins to hear a beautiful singing voice that's coming from a young girl. And that young girl turns out to be Mimi. Mimi, of course, was staying over at her grandmother's house for just a few days. She's just planting her gardening you know, with all the flowers, including the potpourri. Uh, the rose hips and any other kind. So um, Linus just came in to introduce to her and and actually helped. I mean, he had to go around just trying to lift up the the barrel and fill with dirt. And that's when they started planting all the the flowers around. She also explains to uh, to Linus that what would the world would be like without flowers. Well, I'll give you that answer. It'll be a boring, sad place. Exactly. So then they both had some lemonade. So then after that, they decided to have lemonade, and Linus was, was actually planning on inviting her to his upcoming birthday party. And she said she would love to, because she loves birthday parties. <laughs> so, um... At the end, I mean, he went back to his roller skates, just going on the way home. So, suddenly, because of all of this, he just couldn't stop hearing Mimi's singing voice. And it just suddenly went stuck into his head. <laughs> yeah, now we're getting to the whole switcheroo, you know, with Charlie Brown, when he had to deal with the little redhead girl. You know, he gets all nervous, shy, and he's totally blushing. 
very bashful right there. Because <laughs> this time, it's Linus that gets the attention here. I mean, Linus suddenly couldn't pay attention to his teacher, Miss Offmore. Miss Offmore, because he's being called on the board to do a math problem. So he wants to doing all that on the board. <laughs> Which causes the kids to, to laugh at his face. I mean, that was just messed up. And even weirder, uh, Linus suddenly gets up um, at night just, just to get a drink of water. So he's still got the saw stuck on his head. But then he winds up in the bathroom and actually turns on the knob of the shower. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty messed up. So, so everywhere he goes, I mean, he just can't stop hearing uh, Mimi's beautiful singing voice. <laughs> it's amazing. Well, anyway, um, the Peanuts gang decided to get ready to buy some birthday supplies as well as um, the birthday cake and everything that, and even all the presents and everything they need for Linus's upcoming birthday party. And he and actually invites everyone. Including Sally. Yeah, her sweet... <laughs> well, not really her sweet bad boo, but you get the idea. And, of course, uh, Sally suddenly begins to find out the, the word by the meaning of RSVP. She just says, RISPUP. <laughs> yeah. Of course, this, she doesn't even know what it means. But anyway... Well, of course, uh, there was a scene in, in the supermarket, you know, where all the Peanuts game were just ready to shop. Um, Snoopy just went in there just to buy some more uh, groceries uh, for the party, such as, uh, like, a huge pound of bananas, uh, tons of melons, along with uh, oranges. <laughs> While he keeps knocking around um, all the people uh, in, in the shopping carts. <laughs> Of course, he also got some other stuff like uh, bird seed and and doggy treats to go with it, and then also has a <laughs> a scratching post uh, for dogs, and just uh, flows around to to Woodstock, and yeah, Woodstock suddenly throws back at him, and they always like to fight around all the time. <laughs> yeah, which that also happened later on on Linus's birthday when they actually had a fight. Uh, with the cake frosting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, anyway. So then, um, Linus's birthday party had arrived. Um, all of his friends had came over, and, you know, they're just having a good time, and they're just getting ready for, to, to make a wish. To, yeah, they're just getting ready to set up everything, and now, they actually brought in the birthday cake, and they're ready to sing happy birthday. But Linus had told them to stop, because they're trying to wait for, because he's trying to wait for Mimi to arrive on the door. And by the time they finish singing Happy Birthday, that's when he finally hears uh, Mimi's voice. So he got outside, he found Mimi, already being taken away by her parents on a blue car, because she was ready to leave. So he just, she just came over just to give him one present for... Just give him one present, which is a flower, and actually kisses Linus on her on his forehead, <laughs> and sat, and then she left. So it was too bad, though, because um, the rest of the game, including Charlie Brown, would have met her. Yeah. But in the end, you know, he had a wonderful party. You know, he's like dancing around, you know, while holding the flower. So then, um, when he decided to make a conversation with Charlie Brown, I mean, he, he begins to talk about uh, Mimi. But since she left, I mean, he was thinking to himself, when will he ever hear that song again? And that's where Woodstock did the honors, <laughs> by whistling. And there we go. Yeah, this was such a wonderful special, and... And I, I hope that someday Warner Brothers will take a chance on releasing this on DVD because it really deserves it. I mean, it's just so memorable. 
even though it is a lot different from all the other Charlie Brown specials as we know it. Uh, and what's really interesting is that they actually got dance choreographer, who's also Charles and Schultz's daughter, uh, Jill Schultz, because she actually provided the the skating scenes with Linus uh, Van Pelt just doing all the the rolling the rollerblading uh, scenes, even though it got repeated. But it looks really cool that she she did all of her choreography for that, so it really matches very well. And for those who don't know, she also went on to do. Um, the Charlie Brown special, um, yeah, the Peanut special. Um, it's a girl in the big red truck, which is a live-action animated special that aired in 1988, which is another special that's on VHS and it's not on DVD. So it's another one that needs to be picked up. She also worked on the choreography for um, "It's Flash People," Charlie Brown with Snoopy doing all the dance moves. <laughs> really cool. Uh, there you go. Because <laughs> she's also a skater herself, too. I mean, that's always interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, Mimi was such a, a very cute young girl. It really shows. And, and the song that she'd sing just, just couldn't get out of anyone's head, too. So I can see how beautiful it was. <laughs> yeah. And it's great to see the rest of the game back. I mean, even though they may be missing a few characters here and there, but that's okay. Um, in the long run, I mean, it was great to see them. I always love to see Snoopy's antics, uh, especially where he was always uh, messing around with his friend Woodstock. Yeah, with such as the the Kate Fostein scene, as I mentioned. You know, they're always <laughs> fighting around, just having fun. Okay, just cool. Anyway, it was a great birthday special, and I'm glad that we had one, even though it's been over 20 years now. <laughs> but nevertheless, I mean, it would, it would always be uh, always be memorable no matter what happens. So, so. anyway, <laughs> and it de definitely works well after having a nice birthday party that I got. So it's cool that it actually works. So anyway, I had a wonderful happy birthday, and I'm glad I watched the special because, believe it or not, I also did bought the special on VHS on my birthday, <laughs> and I still have the VHS tape, by the way, but unfortunately I couldn't take it out because it's in the closet filled with a lot of stuff, and it'll take it, it'll take me a lot of hours to put them together like there, so <laughs> that was going to be a problem here. But oh well, I mean, hey, I did the best I could. So. But check it out. I mean, it, maybe find it online or maybe pick up the VHS tape by any chance because, you know, you'll have a wonderful time watching it. So anyway, that's it was my best birthday ever, Charlie Brown. I give it five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I have a wonderful, happy birthday if, well, no matter whose birthday is it, or whatever, because I sure had a wonderful time. <laughs> there we go. And I'll see you later. Bye.